Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about two big, very exciting things, and that is the Halo TV show and new Halo Wars 2 DLC just dropped. So, a couple weeks ago, Jacob and I recapped a few possible theories and ideas for the Halo television series that was announced many years ago at E3. Now, since then, we've heard pretty much nothing except for reminders that the show is still in development. Well, today is the first time in many, many months that they once again remind us that no, the TV show isn't cancelled, that it is still in progress to some extent. They go on to say, Progress on the Halo television series continues. We want to ensure we're doing this the right way together with a team of creative partners, Steven Spielberg and Showtime, that can help us build the best Halo series that fans expect and deserve. We have no further details to share at this time. Though some could speculate that the TV show hasn't even started production, such as filming and acting, they do want to do this the right way, they said. And so it seems. Maybe just like Halo 6, they are putting extra time and effort into this project, therefore it may be a while before we see anything about the TV show, perhaps as late as 2018 or 2019, but it may be worth the wait. So basically that comment is kind of vague, it makes me a little bit worried, I wish they would just tell us what this TV series is going to be about. If they just gave us a sentence or two just explaining, okay it's going to take place here and it's going to be about this person and their troubles with this. That would be excellent and we could really talk about the TV show then and we could really give our feedback before they even really show anything off and we could begin to show them what we really want to see in that particular, you know, plot. Anyways, that's just my thoughts about it. In other news, Halo Wars 2 DLC recently dropped with a giant list of patches on Tuesday, July 25th. This pack includes Operation Spearbreaker and Serena. And if you're wondering if you can buy these separately, you can. You can buy Serena for $5.99 and Operation Spearbreaker separately, same price, or you can buy them together a little bit cheaper for $9.99. Operation Spearbreaker is a two campaign mission pack that focuses on the ODSTs that can also be played on co-op. Serena, on the other hand, was a main character in Halo Wars 1, but due to her limited years as an AI, we learned that she was deactivated right at the beginning of Halo Wars 2. Her abilities and units are centered around ice, pretty much. Chilling, freezing, and then shattering units. New units include the Tundra Bison, the new hero vehicle for Serena, and it looks badass. Frost Raven, an aerial support vehicle unique to Serena with a cryo ray and also missiles that slow and damage units in a target area. Can't wait to play around with these two vehicles. And also the cryo trooper, replacing hellbringers which usually have flames, but these guys have a cryo spray and they bring that to the front lines and it inflicts a chilling effect to units, which of course can lead to a lot of damage. Serena's abilities are very cool, they remind me of the original Anders in Halo Wars 1. Her abilities include Ice Barrier, which is helpful for denying or slowing down units, kind of chopping up the battlefield a little bit how you want to for a limited time, and it's great for support strategies of course too. Glacial Storm is an impact with damage and chill, and then it spreads out pretty well. Also Cryo Mine, it's basically a mine, when triggered it deals damage and then freezes the units in its blast. Cryo Bomb, which causes a small amount of damage and then freezes almost everything. And then Seismic Charge, which is a blast that causes mild damage, but also shatters frozen units and does a considerable amount of damage towards the opposing team. Talking about Serena so much, it really reminds me that Serena was one of the few characters in Halo that nailed charm and comic relief so freaking well and was a fantastic character in the series and it's really depressing to see that she's gone but at least she's making an appearance in Halo Wars 2 even if it's not canon because she was definitely one of the really cool characters in my book in Halo that is now gone. And what do you think about all the new DLC coming to Halo Wars 2? Also, are you eager about the Halo TV show or have you, like many, given up caring about it? Let me know down in the comments below, I wanna know. Alright, see you guys soon, peace.